everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about this word, force. What is force? A lot of times when people think of the word force, especially kids, they think of um, the force like in Star Wars, like use the force, Luke. That was a terrible impression. But anyway, they think of Darth Vader um, and force is like some sort of magical power that can help you move things with your mind. Well, that idea is fiction. That idea of force exists in Star Wars. But I want you to think of force like a scientist. Force is all around us. We use it every day. Um, you might even be using it right now. So, you ready? Do you know what force is? Force is a push or a pull. I'll say it again. Force is a push or a pull. You might not know exactly what that means yet, but I plan on teaching it to you over the next few weeks. Don't worry. Think about push. What can you push? You can push train on a train track. You can push your toy cars around. A push is something you can do to an object to make it move. You can push a lawnmower around to cut the grass or push a baby in a stroller or push a button to make it work or do some push-ups and one and two and three, he's got it. All right, now let's talk about pulls. Have you ever pulled your zipper up? That's a pull. Have you ever pulled up your pants while getting dressed in the morning? Yeah, please wear pants. You can pull a wagon around the block, go for a ride. And did you know that there are actual professional tug of war competitions? Look at how hard they're pulling. And another lawnmower video. Someone in our class really likes lawnmowers. Anyway, some of them you have to pull a string to get it to start. Or how about doing pull ups? It's right in the name. If you go fishing, you need to pull the fishing line out of the water to get the fish. So, do you remember what a force is? A force is a push or a pull on an object. That object can be a toy, a button, a machine, pretty much anything that moves. But don't worry, if you forget what a force is, I'm here to remind you. Do you think that there are things that you can push and pull? Let's find out. Today, your work is going to be to categorize objects and the way they move into pushes or pulls. And you'll be doing that using one of these diagrams that we've done um, earlier in the week. The work that you complete might look different from the work that someone else completes because you have different ideas. Some things you might think belong in a different category than someone else, and that's okay. To end this video today, I'm gonna leave you with one last thought. What is a force? A push or a pull on an object. All right. Thank you for learning with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.